See you later. Yeah. See you soon. Sorry, I'm pretty busy. Be busy later. Come on, play hide and seek with us. There's someone else I have to find right now. Play hide and seek, and we'll tell you anything you want. Can you tell me, have you seen any thugs around here? What do you mean? Have you seen anyone you don't know? Really? I'll tell you more if you play with us. Deal. There you are. Ah, you found me. Where are the others? I can't tell you that. That's cheating. Fair enough. Sorry. I need help with something. Hurry up and buy everyone. Deal. I need help with something. If you don't find them, deal.
There you are. <laughs> you found me! Where are the others? Nice try! You'll have to find them yourself! Oh, right. Sorry. There you are. Darn, you found me. Only one left. Excuse me. And who are you? Do you have a moment? Well, I guess I don't have a choice. The look on your face says you won't accept no for an answer. I'm looking for a kid dressed in blue. Oh, the one in blue ran around the back. Oh, really? Thank you. You're not from around here, are you? Where did you come from? You reek of a city. So, like, what's your name? Hazuki. Ryo Hazuki. Ryo, huh? I'm Yi. Nice to meet you. Excuse me. Yeah? I'm looking for a kid dressed in blue. That's my boy. He ran towards the back. Could you bring him home? Got it. I need help with something. Are you speaking to me? Oh, um, what do you need? Did you see a kid dressed in blue? Oh, he just ran by. Okay, thanks. I need help with something. What is it, mister? Did you see a kid dressed in blue? You're playing hide and seek, aren't you? Lee Hong ran to that house over there. Okay, thanks. Found you. 
Oh, man. You found me. Now tell me about the thugs, like you promised. I saw two strangers. They both went into this house. What'd they look like? One had a real smooth head, with a spider drawn on it. Must be the same ones that hit Joe and Wong's houses. Go join the others. Quickly. Okay. Bye! What the hell were they doing? I might be able to find out more about the thugs here. I wonder if there are any clues here. I wonder if there are any clues. What's this? Good. Looks good. What's this? 
Guess I'll hold on to it for now. I should look somewhere else. I should look somewhere else. I should look somewhere. around here. I should look somewhere else. What's this? I wonder if there are any... I wonder if there are any clues here. I should look somewhere else. I should look somewhere else.
What's this? Some sort of name list? One of the thugs must have dropped it. This could be a clue. I should show the villagers what I found. They might be able to tell me more. I wonder if there are any clues here. Excuse me. I just have a question. Do you know anything about this? Let's see now. Why, if it isn't your orange, sure. I see. This would have been a better picture if I had been in it. <laughs> right. Anyway, thanks for your help. Oh, it was no trouble. Yes, that's right. Shenhua doesn't seem to be with you today. How do you know? I can just tell.
Hello and welcome. Oh, did you come alone today? Yes. I've got a question. Do you know anything about this? Oh my, is that a picture of Yen? He's Shen Hua's father, you know. And the other one? I know him too. Now, what was his name? I can't remember. But he's a stonemason. See the tools in their hands? Yeah. He's probably Yuan's colleague. I see. Hello and welcome. Oh, did you come alone today? Yes. I've got a question. Do you know anything about this? Why, that would be a list of the village residents. Well, sorta. Where did you find this? It was in Mr. Shu's house, another stonemason. Are you two acquaintances? Well... Speaking of Shu, he stopped coming to my store all of a sudden. I see. Excuse me. I just have a question. Do you know anything about this? Let's see now. This seems to be a list of the village residents. I see. Would you mind adding our names to it? I'm Jiang Ming, and my wife is Jiang Yi. Right. Excuse me. What is it? There's something I want to ask. Do you know anything about this? Joe's name is on here. He's the stonemason who lives right over there. I see. Excuse me. How can I help you, Ryo? Do you know anything about this? Yuren's and Joe's names are on here. I don't know the other names. I see. Hello? Uh, it seems nobody's home. Excuse me. How can I help you, Ryo? Do you know anything about this? Oh, if it isn't Yuren. As for the other one? Who is he? I've met him before. He's with Yuren, so maybe he's another stonemason? I see. Excuse me. What is it? There's something I want to ask. Do you know anything about this? Oh, it's Yuan, Shenhua's father. Mr. Yuan, huh? About the other man? Hmm. His name escapes me. I see. I need help with something. What do you want? Here, look at this. That's a picture of your own and she. Why the hell do you have it? It's complicated. What's that supposed to mean? How do you even know Shenhua's dad? 
Um, never mind. Sorry to bother you. I'll ask someone else. Not so fast, buddy. You think you can get away? Excuse me. How can I help you, Ryo? Ah, never mind. I'm good. I need help with something. What do you want? Here, look at this. Ron, Chu, and Joe. They're all stonemasons. Stonemasons? Yeah. This looks like a list of stonemasons. Why the hell do you have this? It's complicated. What? Okay, thanks. This is a registry of stonemasons. Leo. Hey. Shenhua, someone ransacked Mr. Sure's house. Sure, the stonemason? Yeah. He worked with my father. I've only ever heard good things about him. Is that so? So what happened? Is he okay? Nobody's seen him since. Oh my gosh, they took him too. But I found this. This is father, and sure. And this as well. Father's name. And sure, and Joe are on here. Everyone on here is a stonemason. Interesting. Those thugs must have been behind the attack. Really? Some kids in the village saw the thugs enter Shu's house. So if they went after him, then this... Belonged to the thugs. They must have dropped it. They've crossed off some of the names. Yeah. The thugs must be crossing off the names of the stonemasons they've attacked. What? Then, they got to my father. We don't know that for sure. He could be in hiding. I'll go and talk to the other stonemasons. Okay. What are they after, anyway? I'm going to go home. Someone has to tend to the animals. Got it. Leave the rest to me. Thanks. Hey. Oh, it's you again. Do you have a second? What do you want? Do you know any stonemasons? There's actually a few around here. I know Joe lives somewhere near the village square. Mr. Joe, eh? Hey? Oh, and so does Yuran, Shenhua's old man. Okay, thanks. Hi, Zhishong. What is it, Ryo? Do you know where I can find a stonemason? It's not like we're strangers here. I'll do it. What? I may not look the part, but I'm pretty damn good. Uh... I'll get you real nice and chiseled. Off with your clothes. I'm looking for a stonemason. A stonemason? Not an artist? And here I thought you were looking for someone to help you get inked. Right. Hello? Uh, 
Looks like no one's home. Mr. Joe. Hmm? I need your help with something. Do you know what this is? Not really. All these people are stonemasons. I found it at Mr. Schur's house. And why do you have it? Mr. Schur's house was ransacked. Seriously? And what of Schur? I didn't see him anywhere. First you're in, now Schur. Hmm. Yes? There's a red line over Yuren and Schur's names. My name's also highlighted. And the names that aren't on the line? Stonemasons that haven't been attacked. Cud's name is next. He's in danger. Do you know where Mr. Cud lives? The Panda Market. I'll go check it out. Hello? Uh, looks like no one's home. I'll come again later. Ah, so it's you. Sorry? You're the Japanese boy everyone in the village is talking about, right? Yeah. Would you like to have a look at my shop? Sure. As you can see, I operate a pawn shop. I do sales and exchanges. Exchanges? Indeed. Gather a set of items together and bring them to me. You can then trade them in for a skill book. Is that so? Yes, you look rather tough. May I presume you are interested in skill books? You could say that, yeah. Then by all means, trade with me. It will be far cheaper than buying elsewhere. That's good to know. Come see me whenever you get a set together. Okay, I will. Welcome. Well, come on in. You've got something to sell? I'll buy it, and I'll give you a good deal, too. You can exchange complete sets of items as well. I'll give you this much for it. Having second thoughts? I'll buy whatever you got to sell, so come by anytime.
Maybe I should play one. This is tougher than I thought. Just one more. I'll come back later. Hello, Leo. Ah, Leo. Do you know where Mr. Ka's house is? I'm not sure, but never mind that. Xinhua is waiting for you, right? You should get going. Ah, uh, right. Shiren? What do you want? Do you know where Mr. Ka's house is? Beats me. I see. Pardon me. Hiya. I'm looking for Mr. Ka. I don't think he's been home for days. I saw a light flick on earlier, though. Is that so? I need help with something. How about a yummy steamed bun? I'm looking for Mr. Ka. Mr. Ka? I just saw him return home. Okay, thanks. Excuse me. Is there a stonemason named Mr. Ke here? Why do you ask? I heard that some thugs came through town and caused a lot of damage recently. Thugs, you say? Yes. There were two. One had a spider tattooed on his head. Oh, those guys. Yeah, they came by. They were screaming, where's the phoenix mirror? As they searched my house, as you can see. There's a clue. You're sure they said Phoenix Mirror? Yep. I'm looking for stonemasons. Do you know any others? Why are you looking for them? It seems those thugs are targeting the village's stonemasons. Well, there's a... Young guy named Yan Shin down in the Rainbow Basin. I hope they haven't gotten to him. The Rainbow Basin. Got it. Thanks. No problem.
It's gotten so dark. Maybe I should head back to Shenhua's house. Hey, Xinhua. What is it, Liu? I spoke with Ka Jun Hao, the stonemason. He says the thugs attacked him too. Oh no. He's fine. Don't worry. <sighs> That's a relief. Yes. He said that his house got wrecked, though. Why would they do that? Because they were after the Phoenix Mirror. Really? So what do we do now? I heard a stonemason by the name of Yan Xing lives in the Rainbow Basin. Oh no, Yan Xing. You know him? Yes, he trained under my father. We've hosted him at the house several times. That's good to know. I'll pay him a visit tomorrow then. Okay. I've noticed there aren't many men in Bai Lu. Oh? There are a lot of kids and elderly people. But nobody in between. That's because the men are in the city. All day, every day? Yes. Around this time each year, they leave their families behind to go work in the city. Huh? That must be tough. It is. Some of them never come back. Really? I've heard stories about men who get used to city life and decide they'd rather just stay. Wow. Is it true? Is what true? Is the city really that nice? Well, it's definitely more convenient than Bailu. So, you prefer the city? It's not an either-or situation. Why not? Home is wherever my family, friends, and loved ones are. So people matter most to you? Yeah. Hey, Xinhua. What is it, Liu? It gets really quiet at night, doesn't it? And pitch black once the sun sets. You shouldn't go out after dark. Good point. There aren't any street lights out here either. Everyone turns in early, too. Well, aside from Sunset Hill, it's always busy out there. Really? What's the attraction out there? The bars that open up at night. There are bars in the village? Sure are. That's where all the adults go to drink and talk. Loudly. Do you want to go see it for yourself? Hmm. Okay. I'll check it out. I'll go with you when you do. You will? All right. Say, Liu. Yeah? Tell me about where you were born. You want to know about Yokosuka? If that's where you were born, then yes. Yeah. I was born there. What's it like? Talking about Yokosuka reminds me of my friends. The people you told me about on the way here, right? Yeah, exactly. Let's see. There was Goro, the punk. Right. Tom, the hot dog vendor. Right again. You've got a good memory. And Harasaki, the photo lady. Huh? Photo lady? Oh, right. I showed you her photo. Yes, she's pretty. Yeah, she is. Yeah, you could say that. Hey, Xinhua. What is it, Liu? What's your father like? He's rather strict, I think. You think? Yes, but I can tell it's all because he loves me so much. I know what you mean. My father was the same way. He's also my teacher. I learned a great deal from him. Your teacher? How so? He taught me all about the mountains, the animals, and the Lijiang River. He taught me everything I needed to know to survive in Guilin. Wow. 
He sounds like a good father. There was one thing I taught him, though. Oh, yeah? What's that? How to cook. I'm way better at it. Oh, I see. I can't argue there. Everything you've made has been delicious. He did the cooking when I was little, but I've taken over for him. Oh, yeah? He'd get this sour look on his face and say, Wish I could chisel half as good as you cook. Say, Yo. Yeah? What was your father like? He was... He was pretty tough. As a father, I mean. Just pretty tough? He was really strict around the house. But I could tell he really cared about me. He sounds pretty similar to my father. Yeah. We lost my mother when I was young. Oh, I'm so sorry. So, he probably felt he had to put that much more care into raising me. He must have been a nice person. I never thought of him as a nice father, but it's different now. Are you okay? Hmm? What's wrong? Oh, nothing. Hey, Xinhua. What is it, Liao? I've been thinking about Yuan. What about him? What was the drawing of the mirror in his room? I have no idea. Did he ever tell you anything about it? Not a thing. I'd never even seen it before. Hmm. He always told me never to touch his work desk. I see. The pattern on his mirror the phoenix mirror, and the carving in the cave. They've got to be connected somehow. I think you're right. They could also be linked to his disappearance. We should ask around for more information about your father. Good idea. Say, Leo. Yeah? One more question about your father. Go ahead. What did he do? He ran the Hazuki Dojo. So he was a martial arts instructor? Yeah, a tough one. His students feared him. Did he scare you too?